Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 tutorial here on my channel. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the Haunting Awards. So like I've done at the beginning of every video, um, that I'd made a mistake regarding to the 86 repeated awards. I said that... Um, stated on the original award video uh, that you would get 86,000 XP uh, what I actually meant to say was you would get 860,000 XP and therefore would get roughly between 100, 120 to 150 levels higher and then um, like between 25 and 30 treasure maps obviously depending on what rank you are um that's why it's it sort of less you just take that figure into uh account um but yeah the gold bars and that are still correct but it was the xp that i got a bit wrong anyway um so the tra uh, bleh, what's what i was going to say the hunting ones that we're going to be looking at today um the Hunting Awards, so basically there are 43 of these awards and there are th 11 buckles, my goodness I'm getting this wrong all the time, 11 buckles and I believe there's, it's just these two that's oh no, there's, there's three there's three, right so there's three awards um, that can't be repeated so the first one is catch 15 types of fish. Okay, caught eight so far. I don't really fish that much in the game, if I'm honest with you. Only I will, I'll only fish if I need to. So for the daily challenges, for example, it might be like um, you need some succulent fish, which is like sockeye salmon, and I'll hunt. I'll you can carry ten. I'll I'll fish for ten, and then. I'll do the season, whatever, and then um, I'll sell the rest because it's like two fifty you get for each one. It's a little low fat for you, right there. Um, the next one: to kill a hundred types of animal. So in the game, there's a uh, in the actual story mode, there's a hundred and seventy-eight types of animal. Well, that's what it says on your compendium, anyway. I don't think it includes the eleven from Guama. Now at the moment, there's not 178 types because some of them, um, I believe, I don't know if that's true, because, the other, was it yesterday? I hadn't seen any egrets or anything like that in the swamps which are classed as exotics. And I've, I've found something online yesterday. This was like the first time, so I'm, I'm, that, that made me a little curious, i got to say. Um, whether or not this DLC is coming out soon. Well, they're just testing animals in, I don't know. Oh, all they might have been in the game since the beginning, I've just never noticed. Anyway, because the herons have always been in, and the spoonbills have always been in, so I've, I've probably just never noticed them. Um, because obviously the plumes, you get like $1.50 for a plume. So, or something like that. A $1.44 seems to ring a bell as well. Anyway, we're getting a little off track. Uh, and the other one, is kill one flying bird with an arrow. So basically, to find birds, you either go near the shoreline or anywhere in the heartlands, near Valentine, which is basically where, where I am now at the moment. Um, and basically, you just look in the sky, go into dead eye, tag, tag it, tag the uh, bird, and then shoot the arrow, and you've got it. That's how easy that is. It's quite easy to do. Now, we've got to start down here. Kill animals who are inca incapacitated slash kill the posse member. I've been playing this game for... Playing online now for... Well, since it came out. Well, it is now July. It's probably been out at least eight or nine months. I can't remember when the beta version first came out. And I've never got one. So, to me, that's going to be difficult to do mind i play a lot i play a lot solo so um 
you know, that's why it's probably going to be harder for me to do so. But you need to get 100 kills to get the buckle. Some some players might find that easy if they're always in a posse. Um, whereas somebody who plays solo is going to find that quite difficult. Next one. Kill animals from a moving train. Press off explosive. You go on the train. That's moving. And you shoot. You kill animals from it. So. Yeah. It's pretty. You tend to aim fire with birds. Or small animals. Maybe deer. If you're using a rifle. But yeah. You're going to want to use your rifle or your carbine doing that. And not to occur too much about skinning the animals afterwards. This one is collect animal parts, so basically you kill an animal. Now, with me personally, I tend to use a repeater. Um, and I usually get around two stars for each one. You don't get perfect stars. So, shoot, say for example, a goose. And you get, it's a two star goose. I tend to, sh I tend to actually kill a lot, of a lot of geese. So for a two star geese, you might get two flight feathers, two geese feathers, um, a plump bird meat, an animal fat, um, and that's six parts from one animal. Uh, and then if you then you can sell the carcass and that'll be seven parts for one animal. So just because you kill one animal does it count as one, it can count as multiple things like a bison for example. Yeah, you can't set the you know, you can't say the, um, obviously the carcass because it's massive, but you'll take um, a bison horn, you'll take like, say, maybe if it's a perfect pelt, which you can get perfect pelts, if you if you kill the bison, and say it's already a three star bison, and you headshot it in one bullet, it'll be a three star one, you'll probably get like five meats from it, you'll get a, a horn, bison horn from it, you'll get the pelt as well, um, and I think there might be something else, but you're getting seven, six, seven, eight items from one animal, so basically that's what that is. It's just collecting pieces of an animal, whether it be feathers, pelts, meat, uh, palms, uh, tusks, teeth. That it, That's basically what it is. Um, the next one, kill medium animals with a knife. So I'm assuming this is stuff like coyotes and foxes and deers and bucks and things like that. So I would say what you'd have to do with that is maybe lasso the animal and then kill it with a knife. I think that because I don't I don't think it's going to be that as simple to um, basically run up to an animal and kill it with a knife. I just don't think that's going to be possible. Um, so you need to do 100 of those. And the next one is kill small animals with a bow. So they're like your rabbits, your raccoons, your small birds, um, badgers, skunks, that sort of thing. Possum uh, pos might be classed as one as well. Um, and you kill it with a bow. Again, you can find a lot of these animals in like Hano, New Hanover and the Heartlands and stuff like that. And make tall trees and things. Uh, this one is probably the next... Quite a, this is quite an easy one to do. Kill two animals in an explosion. So, uh, basically, the two areas you want to be aiming for are sort of like farmland, ranches, that sort of thing. So, animal ranch is a good one. Find chickens and things like that. And you basically you chuck a dynamite in there, and you you get a mark every two animals you kill with an explosion. So, if you kill, say seven animals with an explosion it'll mark off it'll be like three of five times for example killed two animals or you might say kill ten animals and it'll be like um, five of ten times kill two animals it's that sort of thing so you could do you know you, you either do that with um like in a ranch or chickens or McFarlane ranch is one and then animal ranch is the one and there's one Way up north in Aust New Austin. I can't remember what it's called, if I'm honest with you. I mean, I think it's Rascal Fork around there. You want to be looking at. 
uh, and then uh, the other places you want to go are stuff like anywhere where fish spawn so there's obviously rivers, seas, ponds, lakes, that sort of thing. Anywhere with fish, fish bomb, chuck a dynamite in, and there you you should be you should be okay. Uh, and the next one, kill flying birds. So you're killing a flying bird by any means necessary, as long as the bird is in flight, not on the floor. Uh, so you can kill it with bows, pistols, revolver, repeater, rifle, sniper rifle. Uh, Tomahawk, um, throwing knives, um, shotguns, anything like that. You, well, you, ki you kill a bird while it's flying, and yeah, you, you, you're fine. And then this one, kill animals. I guess if it's plant free, you just, it doesn't matter, just kill any species of animal a thousand times. And I've done that once already, I've re repeated it. So, yes, yeah, so. There you're going to expect to, so there's three that you can't do again, so you're going to get 1500 XP for them three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I confuse myself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I confused myself so bad times there. So there you'd be expected to get 80,000 XP, um, which will be roughly, uh, you'll get a treasure map out of that, um, but about, I see you get, a uh, you get a couple of treasure maps out of that, you'll get about, I would say 12, maybe 12 levels, um, and uh, 32 um, gold bars. So, that is the Hunting Awards explained. Right, so, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.